Hi, Snail Movie here. Today I'll show you a collection of Series 911. The series tell the story of police officers, medical staff, and firefighters facing high pressure, terrifying, and shocking situations. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. A boy fell into a narrow well, screaming for help, but the firefighters couldn't get a response when calling out his name. The well was only the size of a mesh making it impossible for adults to get down. The captain in a daring move had the camera lowered down to take a look. At a depth of 13 meters the boy was found. When his mother arrived, she was heartbroken. The firefighters discussed rescue plans finding the boy was only 2 meters away from an underground river. If he slept he would fall into the river. So the firefighters quickly brought in a drilling machine to dig. A sudden downpour disrupted their plan. The rising water level made the boy's situation more dangerous. The captain sent someone down to dig by hand. The firefighters were desperate to rescue him as soon as possible, so they decided to go down into the well. But since they didn't know what was happening down there, the captain gave the firefighter only 30 minutes. Once time was up the team above would pull him out. As soon as he got to the bottom, he started digging with his bare hands. He finally reached the well where the boy was. He quickly took out his cutter and cut open the pipe to look inside. But to his surprise he didn't see the boy at first. It was only when he looked down that he saw the boy. The rain had caused the boy's body to slide down and half of his body was soaking in water. He was shivering with cold. The firefighter quickly wrapped the boy in a warm blanket and signaled to his teammates to rescue him. The boy's mother rushed up and hugged her son tightly, tears streaming down her face. Everyone around them started clapping and cheering. It was a miraculous rescue. However, just as they were about to lower the rope to rescue the firefighter, a bolt of lightning suddenly struck the drilling machine. The firefighter was instantly engulfed by sand and soil. This dude rushed to the well opening trying to dig it open by hand, but it was obviously futile. At this point, the drilling machine was broken. As everyone was at a loss, the firefighter down below woke up from his coma. He tried to contact his teammates with a walkie-talkie, but no one responded to him. He dived into the underground river to search for an exit. However, he hadn't swum far when his oxygen mask indicated he was running out of air. He had no choice but to discard the mask take a deep breath and dive into the water. He swam for what seemed like an eternity with his body's oxygen supply nearly depleted. He eventually lost consciousness. In the last moments of his life, he remembered his comrades and his wife's dying wish. Christopher needs you. This cry for dad instantly ignited his will to live. He swam forward with all his might and finally emerged from the water. Gasping for air, he greedily breathed. A tornado was approaching. Man quickly took his children and hid in the bathtub. However, his daughter insisted. Their cat was still outside and begged him to save it. Man had to promise. As he was searching, the tornado suddenly struck unleashing its powerful winds. That destroyed their home into pieces. When the rescue team arrived, the surrounding houses had already been reduced to rubble. Man was still searching through the wreckage. When he saw the firefighters approaching, he immediately pleaded with them to save his children. The firefighters wanted to check on the man's condition, but he pushed hey, them away. Me, My kids are in there! Whoa, I'm not whoa, going whoa. anywhere! It's okay, I'd have done the same thing. I'm a father too. The you captain told him to calm down. He found the building, could collapse again at any moment. Opening a small hole. He entered the rubble. The team above monitored the situation closely. Following the man's guidance, the captain broke open the bathroom door and found the children. When the captain brought them out, the father was overjoyed and hugged his children tightly. However, while trying to thank the captain, he suddenly collapsed and lost consciousness. The medic found that he had been hit in the abdomen with a blunt object. His spleen and kidneys were ruptured and his pupils were dilating. The firefighters immediately started performing CPR while the two girls nervously watched. He's gone. Damn it. He's bled out Daddy? Move them back. The children were then taken away from the scene. Why didn't he say something? He wanted to save his kids. If he'd have spoken up, maybe we could have saved him too. A single steel rod pierced through his skull with eerie precision. He remained strangely numb to the searing pain. The man was exceptionally composed, even allowing the firefighters to take a photo to show him what condition his head was in. I'm not dead. With utmost caution, firemen immobilized his entire body entwined with the wreckage and raced him to the hospital. Astonishingly, even in the face of imminent danger, his mind fixated on his beloved car. Hey Buck, how's your car, man? Ah, man, you probably buff most of that out. 
As they approached the hospital's entrance, the firefighters handled the treacherous task of severing the steel rod. The remainder was left for the skilled hands of the doctors. The doctors successfully removed the steel rod, but little did anyone know that the aftermath of this intricate extraction would unleash a relentless torrent of unforeseen complications, forcing the doctors to plunge him into an induced medical coma. Little did they know, the man's failed marriage proposal had left him simmering. The dark storm brewing within his heart drove him to recklessly navigate the treacherous roads that fateful day, desperate for a glimmer of hope. A colleague ventured forth to beseech his girlfriend to visit the hospital, to provide him with the strength to recover. He fought tooth and nail to convince her, but his pleas fell on deaf ears. Fortunately, the man's indomitable spirit remained unyielding, swiftly rekindling his consciousness from the depths of the medical abyss. Man opened the glove box and discovered a bomb. To his horror, the detonator was attached to the accelerator. Once he loosed the accelerator, the bomb would explode. Just now, he had received a call from an unknown person. A bomb in your truck. Now that you've reached 55 miles an hour, the device is on. If you drop below 55, it will explode. They thought it's a joking at first, until opened the glove box. He had to keep the car moving at 60 miles per hour, and called 911, who quickly arrived at the scene. They used a drone to investigate the bottom of the car, and found a bomb which could destroy a whole car. The police asked the man to keep driving, until they could come up with a plan to disarm the bomb. The firefighter eventually arrived, with a fire truck and an aerial ladder. They secured the car and removed the boy from it. Next is the wife, but she refused and said, We're switching seats. What? I put my foot on the gas. You slide underneath me. I say you go. No, have you lost your mind? Sasha, I run all the versions. You live. I go. Police reminded them that the car was only a mile from the destination. Ma'am, please get out of the truck. Her husband convinced her to leave. She climbed out of the car, and then the firefighter put on safety gear and went to work on the bomb. Finally, the car crashed into a barrier. The police were confused as to why the bomb did not detonate. At this time, woman experienced a horrific car crash. The worst part was she was pregnant. Luckily, the rescue team arrived quickly. They found the car had been badly damaged and flipped over. Gasoline was leaking all over the ground from a damaged fuel tank. The captain quickly ordered his team to disconnect the car battery and remove the windshield. A female firefighter went in and found the woman's pulse was weak. They immediately removed the car roof to carefully lift her out and put her on a stretcher. Just as the medic was about to check on her, the woman suddenly woke up. The medic tried to calm her down and assured her that she was going to be okay. What the hell? The captain then checked the back seat, but there was no sign of the baby. He immediately suspected the baby might have been thrown out of the car during the accident. So, he ordered his team to search for the baby in the nearby area. Thankfully, they heard a baby crying not far away. When they looked up, they saw the baby had been caught on a tree branch. The captain climbed up the ladder. When he reached the baby, Oh, oh no! The baby! <laughs> To everyone's relief, it's just baby car seat. The captain had saved it just in time. The team cheered and clapped. Finally, the captain handed the baby over to its mother. They were all safe and sound. Man was playing golf. Suddenly, billowing white smoke starts rising up from the ground. He goes to investigate. But before he knows it, the ground violently shakes. A fissure opens up. A woman nearby quickly grabs her child and runs to the side. As the ground collapses, man desperately clings to the horns of a nearby statue, narrowly escaping falling into the pit. But then flames start shooting causing the statue to topple over. Man falls into the deep hole. His wife was scared and immediately calls 911. Soon after, the firefighter arrived and discovered sulfur dioxide levels are dangerously high and the temperature is at 230 degrees. Luckily, the man is still alive, but his condition is uncertain. They started the rescue operation, erecting a ladder and lowering the firefighter slowly into the deep pit. The firefighter starts strapping protective gear on him. However, when they try to pull him up, man's flesh is melting due to the extreme heat. He's stuck to the statue. The firefighter decides to use an electric saw to cut the statue and free him. But the temperature has already reached 370 degrees. Another volcanic eruption is imminent, so the captain immediately orders the team to start the lift. Despite the man's excruciating screams of pain, they managed to forcefully pull him off the statue. Man was rescued in time. Thank you. Turns out, the area was actually an extinct volcano that had come back to life.
Woman just want to get a new hair color but little did she know, she'd end up with a head the size of a freaking watermelon. Her noggin got stuck in the damn heater. The poor woman was freaking out. The crowd called 911 for help. After checking, the firefighters found she was allergic to the dye. They tried their best to remove the heater, but it was like stubborn AF. So the captain had to whip out his electric saw to cut it open. Sparks were flying everywhere. The crew was holding their breath as they sawed through the machine. Finally, they managed to get her out of that hot mess. But. Almost there. The crowd that had gathered around was tripping balls. The firefighters quickly send the woman to the hospital. This woman never pays for meal. She purposely knocked over tomato sauce and then stepped right on it. When nobody's looking, this way the boss had to give her money. Then she opened her trunk. It's filled with all kinds of scamming tools. This guy just bought a new computer. Her eyes light up like she just found a gold mine. He's backing out of the parking lot. But the computer blocked his view. So he checked the rear mirror to make sure it's safe to back up. But just as he started to move he heard this blood-curdling scream. He rushed out to see what's going on. The woman was lying on the ground screaming about how he broke her leg and need thousands of dollars to fix it. The guy hesitated. Then the woman started screaming about how she has a concussion too. He finally gave in and paid for medical expenses. She's grinning ear to ear as she walked away with his money. And that's not even the end of it. She saw a hot girl wearing designer clothes and decided to try the same scam again. But this time, a car ran her over. The hot girl was oblivious to the whole thing and just kept backing up her car. The 911 arrived soon. Finding the woman still alive but unable to move. She's babbling on suing the driver. However, the police officer had seen through her tricks. Man takes his girlfriend on a private plane ride above the city. Suddenly, the plane starts shaking violently. He asks his girlfriend to check the malfunction report to find the cause. Airspeed 65 knots. Check. Clarify flight ring is engaged. Check. Initiate engagement process. Check. Confirm pilot. This head over heels in love with the passenger. Check. Until now the girl realizes it was all a well-planned marriage proposal. The next moment, the girl feels her heart racing and struggles to breathe. She clutches her chest in agony and passes out. The guy panics and calls 911. The operator advises him to make an emergency landing. Meanwhile, the rescue team arrives at the scene and rushes to check on the girl. They find her blood pressure dangerously low and her heartbeat abnormally fast. They suspect a sudden heart attack. The captain decides to administer nitroglycerin to the girl. But the operator calls to inform them that the girl has been taking L-thyroxine recently which can cause an increased heartbeat. The leader immediately cancels the nitroglycerin and opts for a different medication, adenosine. Not a heart attack. Broken heart syndrome? That's what I'm thinking. That's a real thing? Soon, the girl wakes up and the guy is relieved. The first thing she asks is about the ring. The guy presents it to her and she gladly accepts. 